Best Ballroom Dance Shoes, Beginner's Guide. Have you signed up for ballroom dancing lessons? You'll need a pair of dancing shoes then. Unlike most activities, where you can still get away with just about any kind of shoe, owning a good pair of ballroom dance shoes can make all the difference to your dancing experience. It is little like trying to climb a mountain. If your shoes are not durable against the rocky terrains and don't offer a sufficient amount of grip, protection, and flexibility to your feet, then well, you're in trouble, and we are putting this mildly. Of course, unlike rock climbing, the consequences of choosing the wrong kind of dancing shoes are not exactly fatal. You might get a minor sprain, but if you are looking to avoid that, and you probably are, then let's take a look at a few tips that can ensure that you buy the best ballroom dance shoes. Tip number one, checking the sole. Most professional ballroom dancing shoes have a suede sole. Some may also have a leather or resin-based sole. A sole made out of suede can offer several advantages to a dancer. It offers a good amount of resistance while also allowing you to glide across the dance floor. They are also very durable and can last a long time. Tip number two, checking the shoe material. Professional dance shoes are usually made out of plain leather, patent leather, satin, or canvas material. Plain leather is usually the best choice as far as the material is concerned. It is stiff in nature, which allows the shoe to retain their original shape for a longer period. It also requires very little maintenance and offers a good amount of support and protection to your feet. Leather shoes are a standard in professional dance competitions as well so your feet won't stick out. Tip number three, checking for arch support. Dancing is essentially a workout for your feet. You must make sure that your shoes provide an adequate amount of arch support while you dance. Shoes with poor arch support will make your feet hurt while you dance. Additionally, make sure that the padded lining of the shoes is of a firm and high quality material. There should also be a steel shank installed in the middle of your dance shoe. This provides improved stability to your foot while you dance. Tip number four, checking for shoes that fit. It's also important that you choose shoes that fit you well. They should not be too tight, however, as your feet need to breathe while you dance. Make sure you test out the shoes before buying. If the shoes are tight enough that your toes feel pressured, then you need to look for a second option. Choose something of moderate width so that your feet don't hurt after wearing them. If your foot feels trapped in the shoe, then once again, you need to give it a skip. Tip number five, checking the length of the heel. Professional ballroom dancers usually wear a three inch heel or a two inch heel. The length depends on the type of dance since Latin dancers require a shorter heel. Since you are a beginner, you should only opt for wearing a length that you are comfortable in. Remember, you are supposed to be dancing in these shoes and not everyone can dance comfortably while wearing heels. There will be a lot of slipping and falling once you break into a dance shoe with heels so be prepared to get a little hurt. There are also different types of heels among dance shoes. Most dancers opt for dance shoes that have a flared heel as it provides you with more stability. In the case of dancing shoes for men, a half-inch heel is suitable for ballroom dancing. Latin dance styles make use of Cuban heels that are at least 1.5 inches long. Tip number six, checking for bonus features. The best ballroom dance shoes also come with an antibacterial lining. As you dance, your feet will produce sweat. This can cause the growth of bacteria and fungus in the shoe. An antibacterial lining can absorb the sweat and prevent this. Consider opting for an odor-free bacterial lining as well. Shoes with latex technology are also good at absorbing shock. This prevents your feet from getting tired too quickly. In conclusion, there's a lot that you need to keep in mind when choosing the best ballroom dance shoes. Everything, from the material of the shoe to the heel height, can make a difference. Ballroom dance shoes can be expensive, but you can consider them as an investment. Remember, you will be wearing these shoes while you dance. That's a lot of physical activity, so you will need to buy shoes that last you a long time. Opting for low-priced shoes can backfire since these may not last very long. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. Until next time, ballroomdanceplanet.com